assure you he is completely trustworthy agent this sounds like a conversation that we should have in private don't you think commander i just completed the gadget that will solve that problem let's just stop my latest creation the super silent fruit mug whoever wears them won't be able to hear a thing why thank you agent l are these made of fruit cake yes they are here you go try these on commander he followed us here so i Sort of had to tell him we were undercover. Agent E, you wouldn't want to compromise our whole season, would you? Christmas intelligence kids wouldn't be secret agents if, you know, they weren't secret. Excuse me. Just a minute, please. We'll be with you in a moment. I know, Commander, and I would never do anything to jeopardize the CIK. Excuse me. I've done the calculations, and there is a 97% probability that Frankie will be a great addition to the CIK. I had to knock off three points for his, well, slight tendency towards clumsiness. Um, I can still hear you. Oops, I was sure these were going to work. Maybe they need more walnuts. Good news is these things will be good for months. Agent L, now he knows even more than when he got here. I can fix that. I recently invented a memory erasing machine. Where is it? Well, I tested it on myself, so I forgot where I left it. But I'll go look for it. Agent E, I see we have no choice now but to activate your friend. Your name? Frankie. Frankie, this year your code name will be Agent F. Welcome to the CIK. Sweet! What next? Do I get to go on a spy mission? 
take out some bad guys? Can I use karate? Yeah! Whoa. That won't be necessary. Agent Tiny, please issue Agent F a hat and coat. As you all know, each of our agent's hats are equipped with communication devices in case we need to contact you. Like a cell phone? Yes, but it's a hat. May I have an eye hat? Cute. Very I cute. I found it. I found a memory racer. I just have to adjust the trigger. Well, don't just stand there. Bring it here. Bring what there? Forget him. Let me explain, Agent F. We spend our free time every December searching for his green Christmas cheer to people who need it. And this movie year, there are a lot out there. I gathered you all here for a reason. We have a new mission. Yay! Ooh, I love a good mission. Where's the memory eraser? <laughs> memory eraser? There's no such thing. Ooh, that's a good idea for an invention. But I do have a new gadget that will be perfect for a silent night like this. Uh, Silent night? A, a silent, silent night. night. Kids, why don't you explain it to Agent F? Not announce it with trumpets to be honored by men. When you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Matthew 6, 2 through 4. charge here. I am. You must be Miss King. Agents, I'd like to introduce you to Miss Harriet King. Parrot rhymes with parrot. I'm sorry? It's pronounced Harriet. The I is silent. Okay, so King Harriet got it. Did you say King Harriet? I said King Harriet. King, comma, Harriet. Well, it sounded like... I know what it sounded like. Can we get on with this? Certainly, Miss King. Is this a secure 
location. May I speak freely? Why, yes, you may speak freely in front of all of my agents. Agents? Why, these are just children. Yes, but they are fully trained Christmas intelligence operatives. They let children into the CIA? Actually, for the CIA kids. Christmas intelligence kids. Oh, that's what I get for skimming the contract, I guess. Now that the team has been assembled, why don't you fill us in on the details of the mission, Mr. King? Absolutely. Lately, I've noticed some unusual activity at one of the many properties I own in this town, a local warehouse. It seems there are shipments arriving every day, brown paper packages of all shapes and sizes. Now, naturally, I try to stay out of the affairs of my tenants, but I do need to know if something illegal is going on. Commander, I use my new invention, the Jingle Alert, Pan Penny. Another invention, Agent L. I don't need to remind you about the track record of the other inventions, do I? The chocolate anti-gravity boost. The cotton candy umbrella. Oh no, Commander, not this time. The Jingle Alert has been tested and is field ready. Whenever our CIK team repeats the information to Mrs. King, I'll just press this button and alert you here at base. That way, you'll know the mission's been accomplished. It doesn't explode or anything, does it? Not so far. All right, agents, E, L, and F, assemble your supplies and meet at 2000 Bethlehem Way at 1700 hours. Yes, my first mission. Everyone else dismissed. You know, we usually only accept missions that include bringing Christmas cheer to people. After we uncover the information needs, we'd really like to do something special for the people there, if you don't mind. Oh, well, that's your business, I guess. I just need you to do your spy thing. Un I'll take care of the rest. Understood. Miss King, Merry Christmas. Ah, uh, well, Merry, uh, <clears throat> Merry, <coughs> Christmas? Ah, yes, that's the word. You see, it all started oh so many years ago. When I was young, there was a toy store down the street. Can I get a little more of myself in the monitor, please? Uh, Filled what monitor? with fancy toys and candy that was sweet. Did you bring your microphone? We didn't have much. So I wrote a note to Santa asking him for one thing. A bicycle with training wheels. And I waited, and I waited. But the present never came. That was the day I knew. Deep in the fine print, it clearly states no Christmas celebrations. Serena, 
almost time for our nativity play to begin. Thank you all so much for all of your hard work in supporting our community outreach. It's wonderful. I really appreciate it. Before we begin our dress rehearsal, I have to ask, are there any questions? Are we going to have a snack today? Can we use real live sheets? Are you crazy? Who wants to snack on live sheets? Yes, we will be having a snack, and no, we will not be using live sheets. Also, this isn't a question, but I heard the Crosby kids have chicken pox. Yes, I'm afraid that's correct. Our wise men will not be joining us tonight. However, I'm sure that God will provide. He always does. So, looks like they're doing a play. Can we activate the jingle alarm? Not yet. We still don't know what's in the boxes. Wait, we need, to care we need to be careful not to. Let me help. Oops. Well, what do we have over here? Y'all come here. Don't be shy. Are you, are you here for the rehearsal? Um, yes we are. This may just be perfect. Three parts have just opened up. Josiah, Rachel, can you get our new wise men dressed in costume? And let's continue on with our rehearsal about a song about what occurred before there were angels or before the manger. God's people had been waiting, longing for a savior. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. For unto those who lived in deep darkness, a light has gone. Isaiah 9, 2. The people that walk in the darkness of night, they so dark, think about it at the light. Creating a diversion. Ouch! Oh no! I slipped on this candy cane! Oh no! Are you alright? Yes, it's a diversion. I'm drawing attention to myself so that Agent L 
to figure out what's going on with those packages. Ah, nice. Oh, this is terrible. Can't you walk? Are you all right? What happened? I slipped on this candy cane. How did a candy cane and a poinsettia get on our stage? I don't know, but I think my ankle is. The extra three works. Mission accomplished. Feeling much better. Thank uh, you. Okay, well, thank goodness. Wise man, could you help us unload the boxes over there that have been arriving all week? And um, shepherds, angels, and um, all the rest of you, get on stage. Let's start at the top of the scene with the angels. And there were shepherds in the fields living nearby, watch, keeping watch over their flock by night. Let's stop for a minute. Shepherds, how should you be reacting right now? Terrified. Yeah, I've seen you do terrified, and that's not it. How about this? <gasps> yeah, that's not it either. <clears throat> Let's see, how would you respond or react if your dog ate your iPod? <laughs> That's much better. We're getting closer. But let's keep working on it over here. So what did you find out? Did your Xmas ray work? Of course it worked. Why do mind about work? Okay, I take that back. So what's inside? Was it something dangerous and illegal? Shoes. Shoes? We kind of activate the jingle alert and to have something more than shoes to report. Let's keep investigating. Okay, Cass, we have our shepherds and we have our angels. Let's think about this message that the angels brought to these ordinary shepherds. The shepherds had been waiting a long time for this Messiah, and he was about to be born. They were so excited. It was the best news that they could have hoped for.
Ambassador, when do you expect to have an update from your team? I'm very anxious to continue my c -c -c Christmas celebrations. Don't worry, Miss T. I'm sure we'll receive a transmission any minute now. Excellent. I scheduled a quick manicure in the lounge while we wait. Lounge? What lounge? Oh, that tiny space around the corner. My office? Oh, sure, sweetie. Commander, why are we helping her? What do you mean, Agent Tiny? She's our client. Of course we want to help her. She, she doesn't like Christmas. <gasps> what do you mean? Why would you say something like that? I heard her say it with my own ears. I heard her say if they were doing anything with Christmas, she would eat fix them. I don't know what that means, but that doesn't sound nice. It means kick them out. No. No. Don't worry, everybody. We'll simply call the emergency channel in their house, telling them not to activate the jingle alert. Attention, everyone. We have an update. We are very excited to tell you that we have surpassed our goal and are tracking gifts coming in by the truckload. At this rate, we will, be, we will be able to look hundreds of families in our community. Yay! I am so proud of each one of you. Many of you sacrificed not buying presents for your own family so that you could support this community project. Bingo! I think we got what we need. The packages our Christmas gifts for the community. Okay, let's activate the jingle alert. Mission accomplished. Okay, let's set for the manger scene. Narrator. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. CIK emergency. CIK emergency. CIK emergency. Does anyone hear that? Where is that voice coming from? Oh, sorry, must have left my cell phone on. Weird ringtone, dude. I know, right? Please, everyone, could you please keep your cell phones off until after the rehearsal? Continue. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for him.
Christmas. Trying to evite? I think you mean evict. That's what I said. She's trying to kick them out. We need to warn these people. If Miss King gets here, the whole Christmas event will be ruined. Okay, everyone, let's go ahead and get set up in our places for the scene with the wise men. Mr. Maple, we have an urgent matter to discuss. Can, can it wait? People are, people are starting to come in. We, we, this is our last rehearsal. I hate to interrupt this little celebration. Ma'am, um, the doors don't open for another 10 minutes or so, so if you could just... I've been watching you for weeks with all these packages coming in and out, but I needed more. I needed real proof. I'm afraid I don't understand. Of course you don't. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Miss Harris King, and this is my building. What you seem to have overlooked is that on page 147, section two, paragraph three of the rental agreement, it clearly states there's to be no celebrating of Christmas on the premises. Well, no, I, I wasn't aware of that. Always read the fine print, dear. I can fix that. I'll use my memory eraser on her. Then she'll forget all about not liking Christmas. How cute. Were you looking for this? You left it in the lounge. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. <laughs> You're in violation of the contract and shall be evicted effective immediately. What? But what about the gift? What about the nativity? But what about the snack? Sh surely, Miss King, you understand. We have a huge event, community event tonight. Perhaps you could- Make an exception because it's Christmas. No chance. You have 10 minutes to leave the property or I'll call the authorities. <gasps> Listen. We don't need a building to show God's love. Our community has been giving of their time and treasure for months to make this happen. God will provide for us. He always does. But how do you know? The Bible says that, that we can trust God with all our hearts. He is in control. That's exactly right. It's like when Joseph and Mary knew when King Herod was coming to look for baby Jesus. They knew that God would bring forth the baby Jesus and that they would that God would protect Joseph and Mary. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among all nations. I will be I will be exalted in the earth.
everyone, will you please help us move those boxes over there outside? And we're going to go ahead and put the manger, the nativity scene, right in front I of the building. I forget to mention that on page 147, section 2, paragraph 4, it states that if the contract is broken, everything in the building belongs to me. We'll just start again. It's just stuff, and true treasure isn't anything you can hold or touch. That's right, Rachel. The people are gathering here already. We'll leave the boxes inside with Ms. King here. Our celebration of Christmas will go on without props, without sets, and without gifts. Oh, good. You're taking this much better than I expected. I still don't understand. You've been collecting these boxes for months. Now you won't be able to help the community as we planned. You know what? God's timing is perfect, and we don't want to do anything that gets ahead of what he has planned. When it comes time to give gifts, he's going to provide. But in the meantime, we'll just trust in him and sacrifice of ourselves as a gift. All right, places, places. Everybody ready? Merry Christmas, everyone, and thank you all for coming. We've encountered a few obstacles today. But we are thrilled to rem remember with you the greatest Christmas gift ever. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth to Bethlehem, the town of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, their time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloth and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the end. After Jesus was born, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and bowed down to worship him. King, I brought something for you. What? What do you mean? It was my sister's and she was saving it for when I got bigger. But I want you to have it. It's a bicycle with training wheels. You said you wanted one. But after I tried to stop the Christmas celebration, why would you be so kind to me? 
God gave us the greatest gift at Christmas. And that gift lives inside of us, giving our lives back to him as our gift. Oh, tissue. I need a tissue. Oh, thank you, darling. Oh, and a latte while you're at it. Extra hot, 12 pumps vanilla. Oh, I've never experienced this. I'm at a loss. A, a loss, I say. <sighs> no one has ever shown me such kindness when I, I've been so, so less than perfect. Um, there's a tiny chance I may have overreacted. Well, when we give of ourselves, we imitate the greatest giver of all time who gave us the ultimate gift 2,000 years ago. God coming down to earth to save his people. Oh, that's just amazing. Thank you. Well, don't just stand there. We need to hand out all these gifts to the people in the community who need them. Yay! Miss King, want to come with me to pass out all the gifts? Only if I can ride my bicycle. Do you know how to ride a bike? No, but how hard could it be? Oh, boy. But first, I feel a song coming on. Uh, may I have a spotlight follow me over here, please? Oh, uh, well, um... We're on it! <laughs> Thank you. I like this garland. I like this wreath. And those jolly little elves. Well, I guess they're kind of sweet. I like this carol. So keep on seeing me. Please don't take this the wrong way. Let us celebrate Christmas Day. There's just no way to get around it. I love Christmas. You won't change my mind about it. I love Christmas. I love Christmas.
of second and third graders. You did a wonderful job. You know, before we started, I asked that we would pray and let the Lord speak to us. And I want to share a couple of things that the Lord has been speaking to me all day through the words of one of these songs that said, Good news, Jesus came, and he came for, what did you say, guys? He came for the brokenhearted, for the poor, for those who cry out, and for the captives. And that's all of us. And Jesus has come for us. Another part of that song said, and good news, he's coming again. And our best gift to him is ourselves back to him and say, Jesus, use me to spread the good news. You guys did that tonight. Super job. Thank you for leading us in worship and lifting Jesus' name high tonight. Mrs. Burton, your students have something they want to give to you. If you'd come up on the stage, let's thank Mrs. Burton and let her know what a great job. Thank you so much. It's been a wonderful joy and pleasure to work with all of your kids. It's my favorite time of year. And I always say this, but it makes me sad because they won't do it with me next year. The third graders won't. But the second graders, they can't wait already, can you? All right. Thank you very much. They've worked so hard since September. I'm sorry, parents. You've probably heard the music in your house since September. But it, it takes a lot of practice, as you can tell. I just want to thank a few people. Second grade. Thank you. I want to thank a few people. Well, actually, quite a few. I had a large crowd of moms that helped me out, and even a few dads, setting up and getting costumes together and sewing costumes. Could not be done without you. Um, my fifth graders, Ethan Aringer, Luke Jens, and Sarah Beth Webb, for helping out in the sound booth. The lights and the sound couldn't go on without them. <laughs> to numerous fourth and fifth graders for helping to pass out programs. And then Adam McLean, who puts all of the sound and mixes it together and makes it wonderful. Thank you so much. And to Alan Cornelison, who is in charge of all the lights. He helped me do my lights. For Christy Morris for doing the choreography. And to Misty Plank and Jay Ferguson for being my great adult lead roles. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, again, I really appreciate you all giving your time and and letting me use your kids just one more time. It went great this morning. And boys and girls, you did a great job tonight. And I think if you would all stand, I would love for us to sing Joy to the World before we go. So everyone stand. Okay, here we go. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing.